Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. So we're going to pull some cards for career and finance and then love and romance. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So let's start with career and finance. All right. So we've got the Hierophant. I don't know. Maybe you work for a corporation. You have you have your own corporation. You have a head over you. Let's see. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. You may be done with this. You're done with going to work. You're done with working for a corporation, an entity, an agency. Um, there could be all of a sudden layoffs. Yeah, Ace of Wands. You could be starting your own thing, wanting to be an entrepreneur, says the Ace of Wands. The King of Swords. There could be you, uh, Gemini. You're making a head over heart decision. You know, it just makes sense to strike out on your own. Um, and also with the King of Swords, he or she is attached to the outcome. Therefore, this person is ambitious and um, their ambitions are most times, um, you know, secure here. Yeah, the King of Pentacles, because uh, you're going to do something very systematic, very practical. You have a plan and uh, you're, you're moving in the in the way of your plans, you know, it, you're not just going to be whimsical and off the wall with it. So this is really good. You can have some men in your life helping you also giving you good advice. Three of pentacles. You could also just have like a, a partnership, a group, a group of people, um, maybe even investors or someone who again is attached to the outcome. Maybe their money is involved in this. There's an investment, uh, to be had. You also do some, really high quality work, especially if you work for yourself and you're doing something, you're putting out something each and every day, your work ethic is high, it's secured because you, you know, um, you just, you kind of show up, you show up King of wands. Yeah. This is definitely, um, maybe some unexpected money gain. You could work from home. You do something from home or you do something on your own terms here. Um, you're passionate about what it, whatever it is you do. There could be a level of maybe psychic or intuitive um, nature about whatever it is you do. You could also be a comedian. There could be something about funny or funny. Whatever you're doing is going to expand here. You know, there's expansion here, especially if it is um, entrepreneurial, you know, which most times most people are wanting to be involved in some entrepreneurial endeavor, you know, at least once in their life. So let's see what's going on for love. What's going on for love for Gemini, the moon card could be dealing with cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be of two minds about something. Maybe you're lying to yourself. Let's see the nine of cups about how maybe you want this person back or they're lying to themselves about how they want you back. The magician here. It's like, you could be manifesting this person by way of thinking about them. Maybe at night you could be manifesting this person by way of um, just the emotional pull, the tie. Yeah, the lovers. This could be you, definitely. Somebody that you are estranged from, you're not talking to, you're not with. Um, they could be manifesting you. You could be manifesting them. This was a real significant relationship. Maybe you got married. Maybe you wanted to marry this person. You felt like they were the perfect person. You shared your life or you want to share your life with them. What is this about? The Eight of Wands, definitely a lot of manifestation. The Eight of Wands says the law of attraction, manifestation, it's just obstacles will be removed. Um, and life will, you know, happen at a very rapid pace here for you. Uh, things will get better with the Eight of Wands. Yeah, the high priestess, somebody's not talking to you and it's making them irresistible to you almost unattainable or vice versa this is how someone is looking at you maybe they sacrificed you or their relationship um and somebody wants it back they're trying hard to get it back by any means necessary yeah the three of swords somebody is kind of like alienating and isolating themselves from you not wanting to talk maybe feeling like this is karmic toxic drama filled without direction no intentions but somebody wants a second chance here all right, one more card. Let's see. Yeah, somebody's out in the cold. Somebody wants a second chance. Could be uh, Earth sign. Could be Scorpio. Somebody's holding on to hope, holding on to this relationship. Somebody's also holding on to some deep-seated issues. And maybe that's why they have control issues and they're very dominating or domineering or they just want to control here. Um, somebody, you know, they control from a place of fear, lack, and scarcity. Could be you, could be the other person. 
that's what I have for you, Gemini. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come learn the Tarot with me. Classes are linked below. Thank you, Gemini. Take care. Have a really good weekend.